Hello Libra, and welcome to your offering. If you're new, welcome. If not, welcome back. Allow yourself to receive regardless where Libra falls in your chart. Allow your discernment and your own intuition to serve as the second half of this reading. Allow yourself to take what needs to be taken and leave what needs to be left. Do not overwhelm yourself. This is a friendly warming, warning and warming. Interesting. To not overwhelm yourself with intuitive readings without actually taking that masculine element of the self and applying it and structuring it and searching, asking yourself questions, seeing where they apply to you, self-discovery. And with that, we will begin, Libra, guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, beings of loving light, those that walk with us in God's loving embrace, allow us to tune into Libra's energy, allow their guides, angels, and ancestors to dictate the messages as they are the ones walking with them and they deserve to be heard. Archangel Mikael, please protect against any distorting energies and or intentions. Escort them to a place of evolution or dissolution now or whenever they may interfere. Archangel Raphael, Archangel Jovial, sit within my heart, allowing me to be harmonized within the frequencies of love and the Christ conscious impulse. Allow my service to be harmonized, all messages to be harmonized. Thank you. Clear. Allow me to offer myself as a divine channel in this sacrifice of my time and energy. I do so willingly and with love and joy. Thank you. We are open to receiving. We are very grateful. And with that, we say amen. Libra, who do you serve? Genuine question. One is not for the all. And this is a friendly reminder. Reminder. This is a friendly reminder You are not for everyone. And there are certain groups of people you are certainly not for. And this is going to be different across the board depending on who is sitting on the other side of the screen receiving. But ask yourself, who have I been serving? In my romantic relationships, in my friend relationships, in my family relationships, who have I been exerting my energy for and serving? The way in my prayer I said, I'm offering myself as channel. I'm sacrificing my time and energy. Who are you sacrificing your time and energy for? Who is renting space in your mind? Who are you trying to serve here? I'm getting the energy of individuals who want to start a business, energy of individuals who want to get something off the ground, energy of individuals who want to get more bang from your buck when it comes to the personal relationships and the intimate relationships in your life. And so that's the, the simple, yet magnetic or major question to ask right now of the self is who do I serve or who have I been serving? Are they who I am here to serve right now? Are they the ones that are best going to receive me or are they the ones that, you know, there's something about wanting to serve those that come from a place that you've been Libra because of justice, you feel the divine injustice and you're very sensitive to the injustice and the imbalance of what you have come into balance about. However, the individuals that you serve are, it's almost like, where is it that you are, are squandering your resources? Squandering is the word I hear. Your energetic, emotional, spiritual resources, your gifts and abilities. You may even be an intuitive here. And who is it that you are, it, who is it that you're tuning into as a client base? What pool of clients and, and what pool of the collective are you pulling from? Perhaps that is the reason why you are not able to find the success that you desire. Perhaps that is the reason. Are you afraid to tune into uh, individuals that are more in alignment to where you be, that are, that are more able to receive you? Okay, is it easier for you to yell back directions to someone who's five miles behind you? Not that there's a, a, a race, but that's five miles behind you rather than someone who's right beside you or to the left or right or right behind you or right ahead of you. 
Is it easier for you to call out to those individuals than to call out to the ones from far away because they can't offer you anything in return? There's something about the exchange. Look at the exchange and it'll tell you who you should serve and who you shouldn't serve, Libra. Not You are not for everyone. And so using your potency, utilizing your potency and your resources wisely will be the answer here. Where is it that you're placating in people's games to stay where they are and, 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 and um, relinquishing your energy and your power because you feel the injustice, because you feel the imbalance, because you feel all of the distortion that they're living with and you feel that it's unjust and you feel that they deserve more, but it is not for you to decide this for them. And so thus, where is it that you are spinning your wheels and putting your efforts into something that is not feeding you in return, that is not giving you anything in return? If you're trying to get something off the ground, look at who you consider to be your client base. Let's get deeper into this. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for Libra in this message? You're putting a death to something. This is real shadow work, okay? This is truly real shadow work. And this is putting a death to investments that aren't received. It's like, where is it that you're you're serving the black hole? Where is it that you're feeding everyone's hungry ghosts and they're not being fed and they're not actually being nourished and they're just taking all of that energy and just depleting it? They're eating it alive like a flesh-eating bacteria. These are, I'm hearing these are clients, these are friends, these are family, these are, doesn't mean you need to remove them from your life. It just means you need to restructure where you are putting your effort and energy into these relationships and conversations and arrangements where that, that energy could be better utilized elsewhere. Who are you here to serve, Libra? What happens when you hand someone the most ornate gift, a gift that is so thoughtful, the most beautiful gift that you could ever offer someone, and you come back to their home to find that they've treated it with such disdain? When they have shuffled it away into the garage and allowed it to take dust, to pick up dust. And what would have happened if you would have given that gift to someone who could have really used and appreciated it? Where is it that, that the people that value that are willing to pay you hand over foot for it in exchange or in actual money? Mm, I'm receiving this message as a Libra son. Let's go. Thank you, spirit. There's also something within the shadow about offering your service to individuals like this because, um, because you, feel, you feel more comfortable dealing with individuals who you feel to have a limited awareness compared to yourself. It's very manipulative in its shadow nature. This is not to judge the self, but this is just to see how the full compilation of who you are has uh, created this cyclical pattern in your life. And your, your cup is empty. And so that you feel drawn to utilize your light and your goodness and your yumminess in these in these sorts of arrangements and situations this feels very rooted in in career and business so where is it that you are utilizing all of your talents and abilities being the best service person at shake shack versus being that entrepreneur any of energy where you can apply that to yourself there's also something about like where you lack that clarity or you struggle with that clarity when your cup is empty This is trying to serve individuals with a destructive mental space. 
So this is like a mental space that is a harsh environment for anything to grow from. So this is like someone where you try to offer this ease and space and then they're just like, no, 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 right? Nothing that is worthwhile can survive in that climate. So are you exerting your energy in places that make you feel exhausted, that make you feel like the life that you've offered is now being squandered? Because with the moon card, it feels like, it feels like the individuals that you are truly here to serve. It feels like these individuals are hidden from your awareness, but they're there. They've always been there. It's almost like you conglomerate, you conglomerate them, right? One side of the land versus the other, one wolf versus the other, one tower versus the other. This is separated by water, by spirit, right? So those individuals on this land receive you differently than those individuals on this land, but you've taken it as the whole. These are all of the individuals that are, are exist in my life and that call me. This is, these are, this is the, these are all the, the opportunities that call me. It's not all the same. It's okay to be selective, Libra. It's okay to be very specific or a little bit more specific than what you have been about the individuals that you choose to invest your time and energy into. It's okay to be triggered by the injustice in another person's life and not feel like you are beholden in your own gifts and abilities to serve them. There's a difference between being in service and being a slave. Feel that, receive that. And some of you guys have arrangements that need to clear out, but just allow yourself to move forward knowing that you still have these arrangements. You still have these individuals that are gonna suck. You still have this job, you still have this, right? But allow yourself to set the intention that you're no longer doing this and allow that to phase out of your life as it will. It's waiting for your awareness and your conscious choice to fully close the book on this, on this journey, on this, on this part of your, of your, of your experience. The four of wands in the reverse, just because you're a lawyer, it doesn't mean that everyone's for you. And you have no idea how replenishing and rejuvenating it is to have someone expand with you rather than contract. Ooh, ooh. So when someone receives you and they're like, whoa, expansion, let me expand this, there's so much value. Let me take all of this in and receive it and all of this yumminess and, and this wonderful employee that's over here doing this and working this way. Let me take that and grow on that. Let me build something that can serve that person in return. Let me do something with this that's gonna bring more rather than let me resist it. Let me show resistance. Let me contract. Let me make this person have to prove to me. Let me make this person work harder to seed it. Let me, let me, let me, let me, right? And you're finally receiving this and when you finally accept, when you finally are being received, from individuals that would rather sit there like, Libra, you don't know what you're talking about. Libra, I'm much more happier here. Libra, I love your energy, but I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying right here. I'm planting my ass right here. And Libra's like, no, no more. There's a maturity across all the signs that's coming. So it's not just you, but this is a maturity in how to operate with your potency in a way that actually serves your forward progression rather than uh, keeps you looping in, in, in karmic experiences and lessons, right? Do we need more definition on the lesson? Do you need to go after school to, to do the, the review or like to, to be tutored? Like when you, like you don't need it, you know, you know do you? I don't think so. With the two of swords in the reverse, this is like you uh, finally kind of making a definitive line in the sand and saying, this is what I desire. This is who I, who do I serve? Have my answer. This is my line in the sand. This is how I'm moving forward. Yes, you're going to be triggered by seeing the pains and the imbalances and those that are around you, the injustices of them living with false truths and distortions. But until they're ready for it, it's not for you. And so thus you're moving on. You're looking forward. You're, you're, you're looking at the constellations and you're looking towards the future. Three birds flying together in, in, in the sky. You're aligning to partnerships and individuals that are able to receive you clients and businesses and, and opportunities that really receive your value and want to build on it and want to nourish you and give you all the tools you need to succeed. 
rather than wanting to keep you so that misery can love company because you make them feel good in a place where they want to stay. So they'd rather you be exhausted, making them feel good in a place that they don't want to leave rather than wanting to follow that example and move with you. Okay? I think that completes this message. God bless. I leave you in the divine light of the divine creator, Libra. If you're interested in a private session, that information is in the description box of this video. Or you can email me at andrewsintuition at gmail.com. And until next time, 